and welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we're going to be having a look at the new Philips 3300. So this is a new machine from Philips. It is a super automatic espresso machine. It's got a few really cool upgrades. Um, so if you watched our unboxing with Neil, he kind of touched on them a little bit there and you can find that video just up in the um, top corner here. We'll just put a little link there. So first thing right out of the gate is the updated and improved design. So it is much nicer looking. Um, you do have a beautiful color display for your sensor touch buttons here. The bean hopper looks like it's been upgraded, like drastically. Did you hear that? Okay, let me, let me get my mic a little closer. Listen to this seal. That will keep your beans so fresh. That's really fantastic, I like that. Um, so yes, beautiful updated design. You do have hot water there now as your additional beverage instead of it just being kind of an, a different option. Um, so you don't have Americano programmed on this, but to do Americano, you would do espresso and then hot water. And we're gonna set this machine up together. And then we're gonna make a few beverages. All right, so I have my user manual here. Always use the user manual. Don't try setting it up without it. You might miss a step, that's important. So I'm gonna open right up and it's very, very simple. So we're going to plug the machine in and we're going to fill the water tank with our filtered water. I'm gonna pull the water tank out. So it's the front loading water reservoir as well. Um, Philips always does that. They do have two liter water tanks, which is great. All right, all the way. Perfect. And now I will <laughs> carefully try to insert the water tank back in. Whoop. There we go. Awesome. Now I'm going to turn the machine on. So press the power button. I'm going to leave my cup underneath the uh, spout here. So I also updated this. It's silver now instead of black. It looks a lot nicer. So it's initiating its setup, it's heating up, it's probably going to start drawing in a little bit of water into the heating system in a little bit. And then it's going to start dripping out of the, um, the spouts that are in the, in the machine. There it goes, right on time. So this machine does come with the AquaClean filter. So this would get installed into the water tank. So this is step two on the process of this setup. Um, the AquaClean filter is really fantastic. It's, it's a really strong filter. So if you do have a Philips machine, I highly recommend using the AquaClean filter. You don't have to replace it super frequently. I believe it's good for up to five to 600 beverages. And then if you continue to replace the filter when you're supposed to, you won't need to descale the machine for up to 5,000 drinks. So that's, that's a very long time to not have to descale your machine. If you don't use the filter, you will have to descale the machine for sure. All right. So next step would be to install the AquaClean filter. It's about a five minute process. So just make sure you've allocated that time at home to be able to install it properly. So. You're also going to want to uh, test your water hardness and set that on the machine. So you do get a little strip with the machine. So I'm just going to take this out here and we'll set our water hardness. So we are using the filtered water. I'm going to turn the machine off and I'm going to pull the water tank out. So I'm going to dip my water test strip into the water tank. So this is done with the machine turned off and then my water hardness strip will start to change color. 
So you do wanna make sure you're using, you're testing the water that you're using on the machine. So if you're using filtered water, test your um, filtered water. If you're using tap water, test your tap water. Okay, so water hardness. So now I am going to set my water hardness. So we are number one. We're one. Water hardness one. So I'm going to press and hold my strength selection for three seconds with the machine off. And now I'm going to set it to one and press play. There we go. So now my water hardness is set and it's going to contribute to how frequently I need to descale and how frequently I need to change my water filter. Okay. So now I get to put some beans in the hopper and brew some coffee. Let's get going. We're switching it up today. I'm using Great Scott from our 1.21. So this isn't a coffee you frequently see us use. It does have a Robusta in it. So it's a Robusta blended espresso. So it's Robusta Ethiopian Brazil as a base. So it's really deep in body, pairs very nicely with milk. Throw this into the hopper. This is also where you'll find your grind size adjustment up here. All right, so good hopper. Just put that on top, nice and tight and sealed. Fantastic. All right. Let me take that mug away. And I'm also gonna just throw a little bit of milk into my Latte Go system. All right, so I'm gonna throw our milk into the machine. And so when you're setting up your machine at home, it does take a few beverages to kind of get things going. So what I'm going to do first is actually pour an espresso shot and see how the espresso shot pours. And I'm also, I'm going to adjust my grind size a little bit finer because looking at this guy, I know I need to go a little finer. So I, this is a good hopper. Good job, Phillips. I like it. Okay. So we'll do espresso. I'm going to put the strength to just the smallest amount because we're just kind of calibrating and then smallest size as well. So smallest strength, smallest size. And I'm going to click play. Change your grinder while it's grinding. So um, Phillips machines did have a bit of a loud grinder before. So that was a lot quieter than before um, on the other machines. Philips also does use a ceramic uh, conical grinder as opposed to a stainless steel burr grinder. So look at how gross our espresso is. That's because the machine's never been used. So it's not calibrated, it's not set up. So we're going to brew probably an, uh, two more espressos and then we'll have espresso that's like good to drink. All right, so we're gonna brew a cappuccino. Um, if you haven't watched any of our reviews on our other Philips machines, you can just find them uh, down below. We have a lot of reviews on all of the, the different Philips machines. They're all kind of gonna taste the same um, in terms of like their espresso and their coffee and the iced coffee on this will be the same as uh, previous machines that we've reviewed from Philips that feature the iced coffee. So check it out if you wanna see a full in-depth review of like all of the different beverages and the flavors. But for today's purposes, we're going to do just cappuccino. So I'm going to select cappuccino and then I'm going to select my strength. I always go like max and I'm going to leave my size uh, for espresso in the middle. And same with my milk foam, I'm gonna leave it in the middle. I don't like a too large of a cappuccino and now I'm going to click play. That is so much quieter than the older models from Philips. Like that's a, that is a massive difference in volume. That's awesome. I'm really excited to hear how quiet it is when it's brewing. I'm listening very intently. Ooh. We're doing our frothing first. Okay. 
great. So the Philips 3300 is, it's, it's well, it's a really great super automatic for really anybody, but if you're into iced coffee, this would be a great option for you. It's also really great for people that have um, multiple users in the household because you can customize on the fly, like right before you're brewing. So there's, you don't need to have user prof profiles. You're just going to be able to customize as you go. Um, I quite like that in a machine. I'm not much of a programmer, so I like to be able to just kind of save, select my settings um, right before I'm brewing. This machine does feature a bypass chute as well for your pre-ground. Most people use decaf, um, espresso in there. So just note that it does have to be ground fine for espresso. It cannot be like a medium or a coarser grind because you do want to get that pressure and that extraction. So we've got our cup. This is a very, okay. This is a very small cappuccino. Um, I maybe should have selected the largest size because that's really itty bitty mini. <laughs> it's more like an espresso macchiato. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, cheers. I mean like the foam looks okay and like the, the espresso looks okay, but that's teeny tiny. That's very strong, okay. That's very strong um, for your espresso flavor. Uh, I would have selected the large next time because that's very, very small. Teeny tiny. But fast, efficient, a lot quieter than before. Like significantly quieter. The color display makes it nice and easy to read as well. Um, this machine will have a two-year warranty through Philips as well. So uh, you, once you purchase the machine, you get those two years. And then the brewing unit will have a five-year warranty on it. So that's fantastic because it's kind of the heart of the machine. Underneath the machine is where all of the espresso pucks collect. So you pull the drip tray out. And underneath, you'll have all of your espresso pucks right down in here. I'm just going to throw this guy right back in. All right. So I personally, I like this machine. That, that I'm glad that Philips has made these adjustments to the um, 3000 kind of series of machines that they have because it is so much quieter and I like the color display. It, it just adds a little, a little ease of use to the machine. It already was easy to use, um, but it's just a little nicer. So yeah, it's, it's great. It's easy, press a button, you have everything you need from the machine. Cappuccino, espresso, long coffee, or if you want an iced coffee, you can also do that, all right? Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you follow us on all of our social channels and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with us. We'll see you next time. Cheers.